Kenyatta akiwa Odhaya anasema hapo ana mpango wa kutopeleka kwa mtaro lakini nataka niambie uhuru Kenyatta kutoka hapa wewe uhuru Kenyatta umetupeleka kwa mtaro wa kiuchumi wewe peke yako na familia yako na familia ya Odinga na familia ya Moi nyinyi tu ndio hamko kwa mtaro sisi wengine wote mmetuacha ndani ya mtaro lakini tunakuuliza wachana na sisi tutajitoa kwa mtaro hatukuhitaji we don't need you kutotoa kwa mtaro sisi wenyewe na Mwenyezi Mungu tukiongozwa na Naruto tutajitoa kwa mtaro mko tayari watu wa Kirikiti Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ndugu yetu umesema unataka kutuacha na amani usituache na amani ya mdomo tuache na amani ya vitendo usiseme na mdomo pe 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 pe, pe amani na unapanga vita unapanga vurugu na tunakujua you are the master of double speak you are the master fraudster in our modern Kenyan politics we want to tell you Mr President don't speak about peace with your mouth with just your lips practice peace and sure there is peace this day up to Tuesday and sure Kenyans vote peacefully na nasema hivyo nasema hivyo na nitaongea mbele ya Mungu nitaongea mbele ya Mungu leo uhuru kenyata kwenye anataka kunipeleka anipeleke leo niseme nisiseme niseme nisiseme leo uhuru kenyata umenitisha ukasema nitakuona nataka nikuambie mimi nimemuona mwenyezi mungu sitaji kukuona leo najua wakati tulikutangaza umesema unatutisha unanitishia maisha unatishia dhembe nyoro unatishia Moses Kuria unatishia William Ruto ukasema wewe wakati ulikuwa na uwezo haukuua mtu kumaanisha wakati huo ulikuwa unaua watu wewe siku ya kiama ikifika utatuambia wale watu waliwekwa kwa mto yala ni nani aliwaua lakini sababu moyo moyo ni wa Mwenyezi Mungu peke yake nataka nikuambie nimejua ile njama umepaka ya kuiba kura hapa Kiambu na tunataka tukuambie hatutakupea nafasi hatutakupea nafasi ni mwanga ni mwanga tunajua uhuru Kenyatta wewe na huyo county commissioner wa Kiambu DCC anaitwa Eric wa Mlevu hapo Kikuyu regional uh, returning officer Kikuyu anaitwa Majoi Oino ACC anaitwa Susan Washira ACC anaitwa Rosemary wa hapo Kendo ile njama mmekuwa mkipangia hapa Kiambu ya kushika ma returning officer kuiba kura hapa Kiambu tumejua hiyo njama yako yote na uhuru Kenyatta tunaona ukitutisha ati tutakuona na mimi nataka nikuambie kutoka Kirigiti na wewe ifikapo Jumanne saa kumi asubuhi mpaka saa kumi na mbili jioni utaona watu wa Kiambu wakipigia William Samoei I want to address you President Uhuru Kenyatta and today I address you as the outgoing commander in chief you shall be the commander in chief as the fourth commander in chief until you hand over to the next commander in chief who is William Samoei Ruto Mr President outgoing president and chairman of the Azimio Council Listen to me my brother. We knelt down to pray for you over your ICC cases. You have impoverished the people of Kenya. You have made the people of Kenya to suffer. You have punished the people of Kenya. 
You have destroyed our country. You have destroyed our economy. You have destroyed our democracy. We want to plead with you. On the 9th of August, step down your evil forces that want to sabotage our election. Allow the people of Kenya to elect a president of their choice. We shall not elect your puppet project in the name of Azimio. To make a project, Yako Rais Uru Kenyatta. To Nakuliza Kwaheshima, Tafadali, Umetutesa, Umetesa wa Kenya, Umebomo Unchumi wa Nchietu, Usiache Nchietu, na vita ya Uchaguzi, Ilivio Fanyika, Miakaya Hapo Awali. We plead with you, Mr. President. Leave us in peace and you will also enjoy your retirement in a peaceful country. We have sold a credible plan to the people of Kenya. We are confident the people of Kenya will vote for us in their numbers. Natunauliza wa Kenya, mujitokeze, we vote peacefully and we go home peacefully and we shall win this election because there is a God in heaven and Uhuru Kenyatta is a man, a man like me. He is not a God. And we want to tell him from Nyayo Stadium today. Hakuna siku Uhuru Kenyatta. Sisi wa Kenya tutakupigia magoti tukuabudu kama mungu. Tutaendelea kuabudu mungu alia binguni atakaye tuinua atakaye inua William Ruto tarahetisa awe rais watano wa Kenya harambe Kenya imeamua tunampigia kura William Samoei Ruto and we are voting for William Ruto because he is the reincarnation of JM Karioki he has stood with the poor masses he has stood with the hustlers in Kenya. Na mungu wewe William Ruto ukiwa naibu wa rais. Mungu wame kuhifadhi. Mungu wame kulinda. Wakati wali kupangia huko la mada, hotel la mada. Mungu waka kulinda. Mungu waka fichua njama yao ya kumaliza maisha yako. Ili uokoe hawa wa Kenya maskini kutoka kwa hawa wa beberu we usi. Kweli si kweli? Mimi nataka niwaambie wa Kenya wenzangu. Tumetembea vijijini, tumetembea manyumbani kwenu, tumetembea mitaani, tumewauzia sera ya bottom up, sera ya kuinua wasiojiweza wajiweze. Wale wametudhurumu, wale wametutesa, lakini tunawaambia Uhuru na sio Uhuru Kenyatta waja Jumanne ijayo. Uhuru Kenyatta Jumanne ijayo aenda and freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. And we have told them enough is enough. On the 9th of August we will put in place a government that has a credible plan a plan to uplift the people of Kenya from the poverty inflicted on them by the merchants of deceit, the masters of doublespeak, the masters of lies, and the chief liar in Kenya, and the masters of political conmanship, and the merchants and the architects of state capture. State capture, itaisha, tarahetisa, muazihu, jumane jayo. Kenya mkotayari. Kenya mko tayari. Hebu nione kura ya William Ruto, William Ruto. Nisiudhiwe roga. Na chief yote, ama dio yote, mwenye nimpiga kura, apige kura kwa amani, si ndio? Akimaliza kupiga kura, aende nyumbani, apikiwe na bibi yake. Asikae kwa polling station hata dakika tano, nikuo. Ni mambo ya katiba. Tumesema ngo, tumesema hii uchaguzi ni mambo ya issues na mambo ya uchumi. And that is the end of the similarities between us and our competitors. Jameli tumezunguka hii Kenya. Tumeongea na watu more than 100,000 in our economic forum 
trying to come up with our plan and also sisi tunajua umaskini ni nini unajua watu wengine wako pa yule mwingine ukiwauliza umaskini ni nini wanachukua gugu wanaanza kutafuta meaning ya umaskini sababu hawajui hivyo pia ukiangalia hii timu yetu we have a tyranny of brains ukipata mtu kama Musalia zero kwanza wetangula the brilliance of William Samoe Ruto the youthful energy of Didi Nyoro and Sakaja can you compare that with professor Atuori and professor Murade from the other side na niseme jameni tumepitia mengi nataka kumwambia leo rafiki yangu huru Kenyatta you took over 10 years ago from a gentleman called Mwai Kibaki a guy who never tried to manage his own transition a guy who grew the economy mtu ambaye alijaga ile original bottom up mr president umefanya kila mtu akuwe maskini kila mtu amesota sababu yako umetuonyesha kiburi you are the biggest failure of a president you are the most incompetent president kenya has ever produced wakati wa mwai kibaki mwai kibaki was not fearing people who are more intelligent than him in fact kibaki used to like people with ideas but uhuru kenyatta is the most petty individual i have ever seen in the continent of africa tulikuwa hapa na mpango wetu wewe uko na miaka 60 ulichukua kutoka kwa kibaki wa miaka 70 na kitu saa hii unataka kutupitisha kwa mzee wa miaka 80 shame on you shame on you shame on you shame on, you. Shame on you. my friend mr president we are going to shame you jameni chukua popcorn sit back chukua whisky yako pamoja Tuesday agalia utapata mfuliko wa kula kula milioni 12 ambao utapigia kula William Ruto and we are not going to revenge and we are not going to be as defensive as petty as useless as you are we are going to force you to live in a prosperous country united country a country divided of tribalism and where every kenya has a stake mungu kenya oye Si hapa ni kapito ya Kenya. Wa Kenya wote wako hapa. Tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Abayo ni next week kwa majina yake matatu tunachagua nani kama rais wa Kenya. Wacha wasikia vizuri. Wacha nione kule ya Ruto mpaka kwa nyawa wako kule kule ya Ruto kule ya Ruto kule ya Ruto. Kenya tumeamua sasa sisi tumekuwa kwa hii kinyang'anyiro for a long time na tumeteswa sana na wapinzani wetu wale watu wa deep state wale watu wa system wale watu wa state capture wamedhurumu wenzetu wakatuletea DCI wakavuka wengine wetu wakatisha wengine wetu lakini wame, wa Kenya wamesema na sisi viongozi tumesema ya kwamba hatupangui ngui. Na hiyo miezi yote na miaka yote tumesimama gagali tukitafuta umoja ya wakenya wote na ushidi ya wakenya na haswa mahasla. Kampeni yetu kama Kenya Kwanza na Hasla Nation imekuwa campaign ya kukuza uchumi wetu, ya kujumuisha wakenya wote, ya kujumuisha mahasla wote ya kujenga uchumi wetu wa Kenya tukiwa pamoja kuanza wakulima kwenda wanabiashara kwenda wafanyikazi wa serikali tujenge Kenya yote tukiwa pamoja nikienda kumaliza Nairobi tupo Kenya tupo sasa sikizeni mimi nimetembea na huyu hasla nimeenda na yeye western nimeenda na yeye pwani nimeenda na yeye north eastern Nimeenda na yeye Kenya yote. Na mimi without a doubt I know for sure ya kwamba wa Kenya si ati watashagaa William Ruto ameshinda. Wa Kenya watashagaa na ile kura na ile gap na ile margin atagonga mzee wa kitendawili nayo.
tuombe vijana wetu wasikubali ile mpango ya machifu ya kununua vitabulisho yao vijana tunaomba nyinyi musiuze kesho yenu kwa hivyo pia tungetaka kuambia machifu wale wanalalamika kwetu wale ma assistant county commissioner wanalalamika ya kwamba wanatishwa na Fred Matiangi na Karaja Kibisho waingilie siasa na hawataki tuambie hao wasitishwe kwa sababu the civil service code of regulation inasema ya kwamba ndio hatua yote ichukuliwe kwako lazima upatiwe show cause letter na upatiwe siku na ine ya kujibu hata hiyo barua ikiandikwa Jumatatu by the time utajibu Karaja Kibicho na Fred Matiangi watakuwa ameenda nyumbani na Uhuru Kenyatta kwa hivyo tungetaka kuambia machief na wale civil servants who are opposed to what is going on to stay put and not to agree to be intimidated kwa hivyo tungetaka kuuliza wakenya wote ya kwamba siku ya Jumaine ni siku ya maana sana kukomboa Kenya kiuchumi na ni jukumu lako ukuje upige kura kwa sababu hata ukimpenda William Ruto hata ukipenda mabadiliko na ukose kupiga kura hutakuwa umejisaidia kwa hivyo huu ni uchaguzi wa kubadilisha uchumi wa Kenya